Hey guys, uh, before this tool tip starts, I just wanted to tell you that this tool tip is solely in existence because of you guys, the fans. Uh, in the comments of the one day build that generated this tool tip, uh, many of you said, oh, I would totally buy one of those. And that's where we got the idea to start manufacturing. So here we go. Hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave with a tool tip. This one is, uh, falls into the category of shameless self-promotion, but it is something I wanted you to know about because this tool tip started as a one-day build, and now it is a thing. Uh, a few months ago, I did a one-day build of this apron. Um, I've been wearing shop aprons on and off for much of the 30 years I've been making, on and off. Sometimes I wear it for projects, sometimes I don't. Uh, sometimes it depends upon the project. Sometimes it depends on how hot or cold it is. But I had a certain apron type that I liked and I had purchased a couple that were sort of like it and they just didn't work for me. And I ended up using my new uh, Sailrite sewing machine to make this out of some uh, wax canvas I had and some leather. And it's a split leg, like a farrier's um, uh, 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 work apron, but I like the split leg. I, I learned about the early Ben Davis split leg uh, aprons from my friend Dave Fogler when I first worked at Industrial Light and Magic. Uh, and I built this and I wore it for several weeks. Uh, and then I was talking to Marcos uh, at Mafia Bags, the manufacturers of uh, my EDC one, two and three bags and all of the products that we make at uh, adamsavage.com. And Marco said, we could make that apron. And reader, we made that apron. Yeah, this is now a product and it is uh, for sale for 95 bucks on, uh, on my website, on adamsavage.com. Um, I am really, really proud of this thing. I'm proud of the work that we did. <clears throat> I'm also proud of the price point we hit. I really, it was really important to me to make this as affordable as we could and taking a smaller margin on it just to keep it below that hundred dollar price point. But <clears throat> there is something about making a thing that other people use that is so intoxicating. It started with the bags. It started with the EDC one. And I started seeing people use them in the wild. And I was like, man, that is so cool to make a thing that gets integrated into somebody's work process or, or daily life. Uh, and this feels like the culmination. We've been, we've been making products on adamsavage.com for three years now. We have something like over 25 separate products. I, I didn't even realize we had <laughs> spread so wide, but, um, this is the first tool. Well, I mean, we sell the tape measure, but this is the first handmade tool that we sell. And I wanna walk you through its features. Um, first of all, it has uh, these, I think 65 inch straps that start here at the shoulders, cross at the back, and then meet back here on a pair of clips, uh, quick release clips. This makes this uh, very, very adjustable. This makes it a very adjustable for people of a smaller stature to people of a larger stature. Um, that's not to say that we don't have plans to make different sizes to fit some of the people who are very tall or very small. We, we don't want to exclude anybody from the ability to wear an apron, uh, but its current configuration allows for a fairly wide range of adjustability. I also prefer in aprons the cross back design as opposed to a neck loop. I find it's more comfortable over time. And I really like as I, you know, maybe the apron gets weighed down on a project because I put lots of things in the pockets. It doesn't end up stressing my neck. Uh, also the piece of leather that we use there, it sort of holds the, uh, it sort of holds the straps in their orientation. So when I take this off, actually, I'm going to undo the, <clears throat> it's hard to do one of these suits alone. So I'm going to undo the leg straps and I'll show you how I take this apron off. I, uh, I undo these and then I slip my hands down and through, and then I pull it off my head. And then tomorrow morning, when I go to put this back on, I simply pick it up, grab the straps from the inside, throw it on, and it's already sized for me. Um, I really, really have been digging this feature. 
I don't know what Alexa has to say, but it's not that important. Um, I like the split leg design. Again, farriers, I think horseshoe uh, 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 aprons have this, but frankly, I find this to be a more efficient way to, uh, to move in an apron. And also I can take a leak without taking it off, which is important to me. Might not be important to you, but it's a feature that I put in. Um, I didn't put too many pockets. I mean, sure, I have a lot of pockets. I've got this main chest pocket. Um, each of the five containers is about the same size. It'll hold a, uh, it'll hold a Sharpie, just great. It'll also hold a pencil, pencil without the pencil falling out. Um, I keep my uh, punch and my scribe in here because I use them almost constantly. And you should never be too far from a tongue depressor just in case. Uh, then moving down, we have these two pockets, which, oh, look, I've got some pens and stuff in there. Um, we have these two pockets, which I like for kind of interim put stuff that I'm gonna need in a second. Uh, they're nice and fast and they've got a divider in the middle. And then I've got these two leg pockets. On the production samples, the hammer loops will be slightly farther farther out so that they don't interrupt the pocket. That's That was bad design of mine on my original that Marcos matched in uh, this prototype. That's what this is. I'm wearing the prototype, not the first production sample. And so there were some minor changes made to this one uh, that uh, will be extant in the run when they start to ship. We have already sold a whole bunch. Uh, and then uh, the legs are actually kept on by uh, another set of little straps right here. And these are also adjustable. These also allow for some adjustment. Uh, and, you know, ooh, yeah, it's nice and loose. I'm gonna just tighten that up just a little bit. Yeah, I like to feel it. Uh, and then it's got a hammer loop on both sides. I. I frequently, when I'm working on a project, I frequently need a little thwacker. And this one right here, this is one of my favorite th thwackers. We did a, a, a tool tip about this one. We'll include a link in the comments below. But uh, never being too far from me when I'm working at the machine tools where I often need a little bit of help, like it's perfect to have it right on me. Um, you've got these wide belts so you can put some flash if you want. If you want, it's not required. Flash is not required, but it is recommended, but it's not required. It's not required at all. Um, I'm trying to think of what other features there might be. Um, no, uh, it's durable eight ounce canvas with a uh, oil, uh, with oiled leather. It is really beautiful. It's, these are made here in California local manufacturing, local design, my favorite subjects in the world. Um, but Mafia Bags has outdone themselves with this piece. Uh, I am super proud to be offering it at adamsavage.com. Again, I'm sorry for the shameless self-promotion, but I wanted you to know <laughs> that I've made a thing to wear in the shop and I'm, I'm super chuffed about it and I hope you will be too if you uh, end up ordering one. And if you do and you be, oh, that's the other thing is I've made it out of these materials, the leather and the canvas because of how they wear. Uh, I think of designing stuff, not just in terms of how it looks, sorry. When I think about designing things that we use, I think about not just what they look like when you buy them, but what they look like 10 years after you've bought them and you've been using them the whole time. And it's really important to me that the, that the things that I make help tell that story. Uh, yeah, that is. And so this is built out of these durable materials that will age gorgeously because that's a narrative that means something to me. Uh, and my, like I have some really old aprons in, 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 my, in my collection uh, that I wore like 25 years ago. And, well, you know, they have enough crap on them and cake stuff that they're no longer quite wearable. That the witness marks that they have to their history is really important to me. And we have built this thing to tell the same kind of stories. Thank you guys for joining me for this very self-serving tool tip. <laughs> I, I appreciate your forbearance and I will see you next time. If you do get one of these, I'd love to see a picture of you in your shop. That would be awesome. All right. Thanks, guys. Peace. Stay safe.